Uh, Locus. <laughs> Go on with the book. It's Andrew Gamer, and today I'm back with Stay. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we left him. Uh, now a cell phone and a gun and a cat, different cat from the very first episode. And now we're in a new room. Uh, tell me about it. I'm one of those few who enjoy hearing others' dreams. Tell me about it. <laughs> so bizarre. <clears throat> I was in the middle of a huge poppy field. Poppies everywhere. The horizon was literally thin red line. I had a hat that I couldn't take off. I looked at the sky and there was this huge vulture flying in circles fading in and out of distant clouds. Suddenly after a few uncertain steps whoop and splash. A river formed in front of me dead bodies bobbing to its on its surface. I came closer and realized that the body, it was me. I finally threw up in horrid shock, then looked down and saw gnats raked across my naked feet. When I woke up, there was the cat scratching at my feet. <laughs> Analyzing dreams is a powerful tool of better understanding yourself. Listen, let's listen to yourself. Only you can answer those questions. Just listen to yourself. You're starting to lose track of what really matters here. Be objective. Yeah. I'll say listen to yourself. What can you hear in silence? From the emptiness of my existence, it is questions like no answers that possibly. So he was so right, and he was so right. These questions make me realize I reach my limit. From here, I only three ways out. Lose myself in the process. I seek religious beliefs in some transcendental idea or accept absurdity that is life. Not at, not all of those who are, who wander are lost. Life is without meaning. Objective meaning. No. Someone wise once said not all those who are wondering are lost. Yeah, let's go with that. We got ourselves a token fan here. Nice touch. Made me smile in the spirit of myself. Wondering itself can be an important part of a journey. Nothing Neither a good goal nor something necessity desired, but necessity at the same, all the same. And even if one feels lost amidst the wandering path, that's how he finds himself and, beca and becomes the person he seeks. But one has the choice to take journey. Okay. 
for it to stay a, to a fool forever. People often say that ignorance and happiness go together. What's the choice here? To be a happy fool or enlightened absurdist? You know the answer. Well, I think you know the answer. No, you can't do it on your own. Accept the guidance. Yeah, let's go with that. Wouldn't it be easy? I really envy religious people. No matter what they face with, they face with in life. They always have an explanation that is 100% bulletproof. God himself. That truly must be a peaceful mindset, right? Here's the thing. I agree. I'll agree to accept guidance. From everyone, from God, from you. I will need your help. And I'm, I'll make the most of it. That's a promise. Wow, all this philosophical contemplation kept left my cup. Give me give a few minutes to recover. <clears throat> hey, back on the right track. Chapter eight. Almost halfway through, so I discovered through the walkthrough there's like 25 chapters in this, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do them all. It all depends on if people like this and want, want me to keep going. If you do, so I'm going to leave a comment below. Well, hope I don't find a new way with all the mumbo jumbo about meaning of life. Let's, so let's keep this money python in and just. That's on the way. And just look at the bright side of life. Glad you're feeling better. That's the spirit. Keep on and I'll I'm glad you're feeling better. Nay. Not too much choice, to be honest. I'm going through a whirlwind of emotions. I was super angry, then numb, and don't give a damn. Went through philosophical phrase. Now I'm just scared as hell. My hormones are bat shit crazy. Hey, be right back. One sec. Sorry about that. I'm back. I had something that I had to deal with. Okay, it's normal to be scared. Most time being scared is our way of handling our own mortality. That's not what I'm afraid of. I'm actually afraid of. <clears throat> I should not burn bridges and take the higher road. High road. I'm aware of the problem, but I can't seem to gather strength to face them. Keep doubting myself and everything else, but I know you have my back. And sometimes just knowing that you're not alone is enough to get you through hard times. So here I am, though tough as nails, willing to face whatever is next. Strange. I have a bit bad feeling about this. <laughs> <clears throat> see something? What's happened?
I don't see anything yet. But I sure did hear something. Like a little buzzing at first. A little buzz at first. But it's crescendo. It's a crescendo now. I'm looking around. I can't trace where it's coming from. It seems eliminate from everywhere. I'm going to check it out. Uh oh. Locus? <laughs> Go on with the book. That's right. Show those bugs what for. Glad you're feeling better. Mr. and Mrs. Brightside. Chapter 9. Krista. Not Krista, just. Krista. Whoa, man. I came from a place where I didn't believe. <clears throat> That all of us is alive or a man went to the moon. But now I believe just about anything. Saw some unreal shit here that I'm still trying to simulate. Man, you left me concerned. Are you okay? <clears throat> Define okay. Oh, well, yeah, you're not wrong there. I'm low peace. Locus. Low peace after wrestling swarm locus. According to Old Testament, they bring destruction, disaster, devastation, and punishment. In medieval times, they symbolize the torment and ruin of souls. Today they represent a excellent source of <laughs> protein and super yummy with honey. Oh dear. <laughs> Who weren't very happy about my presence here. So I don't really know if I'm okay or completely numb compass mansus. As a shrink, I shouldn't use these kind of words, even if that even that my fault. <clears throat> anyway, the moment they're gone. Anyway, the moment they were gone, I realized something. What did you see? That's something great. That's something I should have done. It's almost afraid of what you see next. Nay. I saw them fly into the fireplace and then disappear. I think I should follow. <clears throat> okay. There must be a way through there. Or maybe just a musty cobra dungeon. In either case, it could be my way out. Or send me straight back into danger. You more than you more of our usual dilemma when I counted newly in this place, should I do it? Yeah, let's see what's going on. Some really weird stuff going on. Are you sure it's real? Just as real the, those goddamn insects, <clears throat> which I thought only existed to destroy crops and bring famine. But ne nevertheless, here they were, 
haunting me in this hellhole. Maybe I'm in the middle of a huge crop. And they're found a way to get in. Could that be possible? Well, everything seems to be possible here. Well, there it goes. <clears throat> Come up. There you go. Because you're leaving the cat behind. Totem, hummingbird. And the telescope. Hey, Carmen, are you there? <clears throat> so there was actually a hidden room, hidden door inside the fireplace and there was some stairways to what I thought was heaven but it was just a dark attic it's jammed with battered boxes and lost treasures from old records to little wooden structures little little wooden boat structures little boat Okay, here we are. <clears throat> like an elephant graveyard where memories die quickly once they, the sentimental value is gone. Out of sight, out of mind. Battered boxes of clues. Yeah, let's put battered boxes of clues aside. No time for sentimentalism. We're talking about battered boxes of clues to dig in. Geez, some, sometimes you're cold at ice. Well, come on. You're right, but come on at that. Can't waste any time. We should use some... Got it. Use past his trampling couch. Oh, the cat followed us up. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Oh, I'm not done. Actually, wrong way. There we go. <clears throat> Come on. Hmm. Ah.
Okay, you guys have to look for some help on this one, so be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, dear goodness. That was long. Pretty much had to match what the person was doing in the walkthrough. Move, move for move. Gone through some stuff, and I bumped into something. It's a box inside of a box of another box. Lockbox. Sealing concealment secrets, disappointment, maybe even something precious or horrendous that should be released in the right circumstance. Maybe not. I was hideous, not horrendous. Kind of... Hey! Maybe it's a little box locked. <clears throat> Unless you're... Code Breaker Genius. It remains locked and useless. Oh, what the fuck. I think I heard something. And now old forwards creak with heat cold sometime but unless it's a massive mouse, I have a feeling I'm not alone. I'm edgy now. I think I see something in the corner of the attic. The human silhouette. But it's still, it doesn't move. Because it's a mannequin. Have to go closer. Hopefully, be back soon. Bye. Well, I went to get the green there. Mm, yeah, I think this is as far as I'll go from here for now. Um, yeah, it's a long, drawn out game. A lot of good clues, a lot of good puzzling, and fight figuring out stuff. Um, so if you want me to keep playing, uh, it's going to leave comments or do a like, and I'll go from there. It's Android Gamer, Layer Days, and happy gaming!